Innovating Education Learning World in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation. Virtual learning projects like the Salman Khan Academy have encouraged teachers to redirect their teaching methods and orientate them towards individual needs. We went to Norway and talked to a teacher and a student about their personal experiences of flipped classrooms. Let's take a look. In Norway, Anna Katrin makes video lessons on mathematics. This has led many students at the high school where she teaches to change their attitude towards the subject. It's fun when you manage, and it's frustrating when you don't. With the video lessons, Gunhild has got a tool which helps her manage and understand many more mathematical problems than before. It's great because I can repeat the video and get things explained many times. That means I always have somebody around to help me with my homework. Gunhild is one of the students at Sandvika High School near Oslo, taking advantage of the school's innovative maths teacher. But Anna Katrin Gotas is also internationally recognized for her innovative methods. She explains what inspired her to come up with the video lessons. I did a web-based specialization in maths myself using video lessons. I liked it very much because I could repeat the instructions several times and suddenly I understood it. Then one of my students asked me to repeat for the third time an explanation of a problem. There's no time for it, I said, but I'll make you a video to explain it. Since then, Anna Katrin has now flipped her lessons entirely. The students learn the basics at home, giving her time to explain the more complicated concepts in person in the classroom. This gives her students the maximum time possible to be with her during the more challenging problems. Instead of struggling at home with difficult exercises, not having parents to help them, something that happens quite often, and more so higher up in school as the material gets more complicated, the students can watch an easy video at home and do a couple of simple exercises. In this way, they'll come back to school and get the real challenges where the maths teacher is and can help. Instead of having to search in the book, you get a thorough explanation of how to do things. And you can always go back and check those videos before tests, how it works. So that's great. By using an interactive platform, Anna Katrin can also communicate with her students. In this way, she gets feedback on lessons, the students can ask her questions, and she can control the students' homework. If they've worked with a video at home, I can see that. So more people actually do their homework. Then they're better prepared when they come to school. And when a student already knows some of the material, they'll learn the next part more easily. In order to meet the needs of more advanced students and complement her own teaching, Anna Katrin also makes use of video lessons made by others. She thinks this method has great advantages. The students think differently and learn in different ways. What seems to be a logical way to solve a problem to one student doesn't seem logical to another. At Santavica High School, maths is on the schedule the whole day, for five hours, once a week. This creates a need for variation of teaching methods, with sometimes innovative results. Learning World, in association with WISE, an initiative of Qatar Foundation.